Is Milo really that Maxwell? She does act a bit nutty, but she looks normal enough. I think it's true. When I first met her, Mila had the four great spirits with her. What? Get out of here. No, seriously. Fire spirit Efreet, water spirit Undine, wind spirit Sylph, and earth spirit Gnome. It was the first time I'd ever seen them in person, but there was no mistaking who they were. That's a mighty exclusive club. Yeah. I imagine they hang out with a lot of mortal girls. Yeah. All right. Now we'll get the soda rice. Let's see. Okay. Uh, soda rice. There we go. Okay. Got that. Here you go. Your quest is done. You're welcome, sir. Bushy eyebrows. And out for her. So, we gotta go back to where we were before. And restart the quest. Again. Inside and out. Oops. Gotta straighten my scarf. You sure do love that thing. Don't you? It's one of Fismage's finest. Custom made for yours truly. I don't know much about brands, but it does look good on you. You gotta be careful about what you wear, kid. It's how the world judges a man. I'd rather think what's inside is what counts. Yeah, and this is how what's inside gets projected to the outside. You don't believe some people shape what's outside in order to conceal the ugliness within? <laughs> oh, snap! Is that your problem? So you blame the victims for being deceived. If that's really what you believe, Alvin, it tells me all I need to know about what's within. Man, I sure slipped up this time, huh? Yeah, look at the bright side, Alvin. I'm going to ignore these monsters for the most part right now. Just so I can just finish up, finish up the quest. Once the quest is finished up, then I'll eliminate every single one of these monsters. <laughs> okay. Ooh, baggy. And the four. Walking sure is grueling. No shit, Sherlock. Coming from you. I'm just used to having so fly me everywhere. The only time I ever really walked was when I used Undine to travel across water. I see. Maybe this is your punishment for treating the four great spirits like your personal servants? Servants? They may help out now and then, but they're the ones who pester me. They're like a bunch of bickering in-laws that never go home. Did you just call the- Ugh. Bickering in-laws? Ouch. Oh god! Stupid wolf. Trying to make me look bad. I have leveled up. Well, I'm getting there to level up. Let's see. Okay, so it should be this away. I'll go back up and just eliminate everything in my path. Now why? Because I am Jude. I am Jude Mathis! The monster eliminator slash greatest doctor that ever lived. Or... Okay, I guess that works too. You know, I tried to get to the bag again. I failed again. Don't get killed. <laughs> All right. Like the experience I'm getting isn't too bad. The experience I get isn't too bad, but it's uh because of how high level I am, it's gonna take a while. sure is bright. That's true. The spirit climbs here are much more stable. What are you talking about? What do you intend to climb? C-L-I-M-E. Surely the great Lady Maxwell knows all about the subject? Nope. You flatter yourself by assuming I recognize every arbitrary word you humans create. Human arrogance can be so trying. Mila, do you know what Riza Maxia is made of? As if I wouldn't know? 
The power of spirits composes the entire natural world. Right. The term spirit climb refers to the balance of spirit power. When that power is out of balance, nature can become polarized in one direction. That's why there are unusual spirit climbs, like the perpetual night of Fenmont. I see. Thank you. Now I understand. You're very good at explaining things. My pleasure. Oh, I see how it is. I guess I'm just an arrogant human compared to little old innocent Jude. Remember, kids, that will be on the test. So, until we go to that test, we're going to kill some monsters. Let's see if we can do uh, links now. Counter links. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Damn. Nope. Still no encounter links. <sighs> Out of our way. Trying not to yawn, even though it's a little difficult right now because I'm a little bit tired. Stayed up a little late. The main reason why I stayed up so late is because, well, yeah. I record for the Epic Awesome Show every week, and um, sometimes it's a little later than what I'm used to staying up for. Are we getting there finally? I like to uh, get this gauge here, this bar meter filled up. Please, game, let me. I love you forever, game. Even let me fill up the bar a little faster. The meter. Meter bar. Bar meter. All right. Okay. What else do we have? Well, we got the scorpion. That's clearly a scorpion, even though they call it a spider. How's it a spider? I know scorpions and spiders are arachnids, but still, it doesn't make any sense. It's like seeing a dog and calling the dog a cat. It just doesn't work. Or seeing a mouse and calling it a bird. Here we go. <laughs> All right. Nice job. Over already. Or hell, even seeing a kitten and calling it a cougar. Kill the monsters! Kill the monsters! Interesting. Help me level up to kick some ass. Cannot wait to get my Mystic Arts because Mystic Arts are so awesome to see. And they do. Unless that person's Muse, then that, that Muse is a pain in the ass every time she does a Mystic Art. It's like, oh, I'm sorry, you're, you're trying to beat me? Here! I'm going to bring you down to 1 HP. Good luck healing. It's like Sephiroth from Final Fantasy, or not Final Fantasy, but um, Kingdom Hearts. Final Sephiroth from Kingdom Hearts automatically drops my HP to 1. Just by scaring the shit out of Sora. Like, that's a dude, like, boo. Holy shit, my HP dropped to 1. That's how life is. Maybe I ought to live stream some Kingdom Hearts too. Like, that'd be kind of cool. Live streaming some Kingdom Hearts. Like, hey, Square, give me Kingdom Hearts three now. I want my Kingdom Hearts three so bad. Do 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 do. Here we go. <laughs> All right. Nice job. <laughs> you have big hands. Interesting. Alvin's almost leveled up, which is cool. Finally. A couple more fights and he might be able to level. Over already? Alright. Nope, he's level cool. And it looks like Jude will level up here in the next fight. Hey! Stupid goblin monkey. Stop it! Over already? Nope, not quite, but he's getting closer to leveling, which is kinda nice. Ooh, shiny. Beautiful feathers! 
out of our way. All right. That wasn't too big. Yes. Cool. Got it. That puts him now at level 47. Nice. I'm hoping by the time I get to my first major boss, I believe is uh, King Noctigal. I think he's my first major boss. So I'm hoping by the time I get to him, I'll be in my level 70s. Or 80s. At least that's what I'm hoping to achieve. Over already? And the reason why I call him a major boss, because he is, I think, the first boss that's going to actually try to do uh, a Mystic Art to you. I don't recall any boss before him doing Mystic Arts. All right. Like, there's other, like, major bosses that are major enough to the pivotal storyline, but none of them doing Mystic Arts yet. You have big hands. Interesting. Mia's so close to leveling. Just want to get her leveled. So close! All right. This is going to be fun. Grinding off screen. doing, Trying to reach the uh, levels I want to reach. There we go, now she's level 48, 47. Bunch of little spiders standing in the row. Jude apples them. And something, something, something rhyme. Yep. Best poem ever. Alright, who's next? Okay, got some wild seagrass. Oh, that's right. I don't know why I keep doing it out of habit. There we go. And kill the goblin. And the wolf, I guess. All right, a lot of trail north region. Oh wait, I supposed to turn that in. That's right, I need to turn that quest in. No wonder why I was heading back there. Duh. Shit, I completely forgot about that. Thankfully, I remembered. But damn, I hate when that happens. All right, so we're gonna have to head back into town, tell her the mercenary save, get our reward, whatever the reward may be, and then start heading out to Nia Kara. Though I believe there's one other, the, I think this is the Kujara Sea Falls before that. Okay, Sheath Dagger, 1200 gold. Grab this. And I'll just ignore these enemies for right now. Come on, I just want to reach to my next destination. 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 There we go. Beautiful feathers. Not quite the black feathers I need for one of the quests, but it gets me somewhere. Did I say you can attack, or the attempt to attack? Did I say that? Did I say you can do that, Wolf? No? Okay, then don't. Just let me kill you. It makes... It's a lot less pain... It's... It's... It's painless. Alright! 
There we go. Got a wood chunk. How much chuck? How much wood? 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 Chuck? Chuck? Wood? Chuck? Could chuck wood? Over already? Which is a very good question. I believe someone tried to answer that question once. Didn't work out. Over already? All right. Take care of these enemies as quickly as I can. There we go. Let's see, where are we at right now? I came from there. Oh, we're going to Hamil first. Okay, that's right. We're in Hamil. Wild sea grass? Oh, wild grass seeds? I don't even know anymore. Over already? Now, the interesting thing that's going to happen is we're going to be introduced to another little side quest aspect. Which is actually kind of an amusing side quest, I think. Like, once you find everything you need for the side quest, what you get out of them is quite amusing. Especially if they're costume pieces. For those who have seen me livestream this game before, already know what I'm talking about. Yay! Monsters for killing. I shall kill the monsters! Hey! Don't even try to hit me, Wolf. That's bad. Bad Wolfie. Stupid Wolf. He's trying to hit me. Well, actually, he succeeded. By dealing 19 damage. Enemies in Final Fantasy Type-0 do a lot worse than that. Alright, let's see. We got a few more enemies to kill, and then I'll go on ahead and head to the big hands. Four hundred gall, that's not bad. Here we go! Forge of Gaul gets me uh, into an inn for the night. Nineteen jet black feathers, that's always good to have. Because those jet black feathers, uh, once I turn enough of them in into this dude later on, I should be getting some okay items from it. This one is mine. All right. Okay, one more enemy, and that should be it for this area. You have big hands. Interesting. Well, thank you. Good to know I have big hands that can smash my enemies' faces into the ground. Well, we've certainly logged a good amount of real-world combat experience. Indeed. I feel that I fully understand the fundamentals. The trick seems to be viewing the blade as an extension of my body and swinging it intuitively. That's not one of the fundamentals. That's the final stage of mastery. Oh, is it? Well, I still get frightened every time I fight. You should use that fear to fuel your punches. I do. After all, it's either them or me. If you've taken that lesson to heart, then you're a true warrior in my book. Honestly, I don't know which one of you scares me more. Well, 
Well, I know which one of us is going to beat your ass later on in the game. Oh! This guy. This guy. He's going to punch your face. He's going to punch you real good, boy. Punch it into the ground. Show you who's boss. Alvin, I'll challenge you to a fight. In this area. In about 20 episodes. Wow, that's an impressive amount of fruit. <laughs> I'm catching a whiff of cider. Oh, they must have orchards here. Well, well, well. We don't get many visitors here. Do you live here, ma'am? I would hope so. I am the mayor. Is this the right road to Niakara? Niakara? Now that's a name I haven't heard in ages. What do you mean? It's what people called a long-forgotten village. I don't even know if it still exists. I heard tales of the village as a child. People claimed it lies beyond the Kijara Sea Falls. The Kijara Sea Falls. Tell me about the Kijara Sea Falls. Rugged terrain to get there. They can't be that bad. I mean, we just have a boss fight and some annoying people, but you know, it can't be that bad. It's not that bad. It really isn't. I'm afraid our little village doesn't have an inn. Not much call for one. Why? Extra room in my house. You're welcome to use it if you like. Thank you oh, for your okay. Alright, cool. Now, I could go here and actually uh, start expanding shops I wanted to. Now, everything's at times two. I want to wait until I see something at times three so I'm not wasting items. How many do I have? Buy. Why can't I buy anything? Wait a minute. Is this the reason why? Oh, I'm maxed. God, it sucks that capacity is 15, but I don't want to expand it because it costs too much to expand it to 99. Spirits are really just masses of mana. They can't interact with the temporal world in that state. For a spirit to take physical form, it needs a catalyst of a corresponding element. As an example, the fire spirit of Freak can take form as a blazing inferno. And as Maxwell, you can be any element, right? The human body contains all four elements, so it's the perfect catalyst for me to take a physical form. What would happen if you lost your catalyst? I would gather elements to make a new one, but I'd have to wait for it to grow up. Grow up? You mean you start as a baby? It's time consuming. But if you want to use a human form as a catalyst, you have to wait for the body to develop. Ouch. So even the Lord of Spirits isn't omnipotent. Not in this human realm, anyway. Let's just be grateful she didn't go with the male model, eh? Wouldn't bother Da Oh. You swing both ways? Oh! That's not what I meant. Are you sure that's not what you meant, Jude? Are you sure about that? Thy fruit of temptation. Oh my. Fruits. No wonder it smells so good around here. Wow, look how juicy they are. I wonder what a Napa fruit would taste like. So? They look like they're at the peak of ripeness. Sweet with just Snapple. I wonder if that's why they're called Napple, because without the S uh, Snapple is just really Napple. For some reason, I can't make it stop. Sounds like your body is awakened to the joys of eating. Just keep those mitts off the merchandise. Our rap sheet's long enough as it is. We don't want to add to it, Mila. Oh, right. Everything kind of sucks. Alright. Um, actually, before I forget, we're going to go to Alvin's equipment and switch to his weapon. His new weapon. His ultimate weapon. And actually, I think this is where I'm going to have to end the live stream for today. Since I got stuff I got to do today. So thank you all for watching. This is your host, Scott Ioka. If you enjoy my Let's Plays, go on ahead and check out my other uh, 
Let's Plays on YouTube.com slash Scotty Oka Official. I also have a Facebook, which is Facebook.com slash uh, Scotty Oka. If you want to go on ahead and uh, follow, uh, give me a like on that page, that would be cool. And I also have a Twitter at uh, Scott Oka one which I will sometimes tweet on random stuff. And you can keep up to date there. And if you haven't already followed me here on Twitch.tv, go on ahead and do that. And uh, you can catch my live streams, which are just about every day where I will live stream a different game now. So until then, everyone, catch you later.